Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome back to the game Ligophobia. This is demo two because we reached 200 subscribers and Dead Dub, Produ Dead Dub Productions is like, hey, here's another demo. Do it for the 200 subscriber special. So I'm a bit late. So thank you for 200 subscribers, by the way. 219 right now. So let's just get right into it. Oh my God, I look adorable. Oh, that's not me. <laughs> Wait, no, that is me. Why do you look so depressed all the time? I'm just tired of being lonely. Well, you don't have to be anymore. I'll be here to keep you company. Really? Do you mean that? Why wouldn't I mean it? You and I are friends, aren't we? Oh, I am adorable. I didn't know you cared that much. You've been a good friend to me, and I want to be there for you. I'm so happy I met you, Jamie. Let's promise to never abandon each other from this day forward. The main character in the game is me. It's by Dead Dub Productions. Talk to him a lot. He's an awesome guy. What was I going to say? Let's just keep going. Shh, shut up, Jeremy. We should have something to represent that promise. I'll go home and bring us back something that will serve as a symbol for our new bond. That sounds great. Oh, she's so happy. That sounds great. Our bond will definitely last forever now. Brian. A gruesome murder like this one isn't something you see often in a small town like ours. What is going on? This is awesome already! Oliver, that's one of my friend's names. That is exactly why I called you down here at the time of the night. At this time of night. The town's population is small and everyone's pretty familiar with everyone else. You think someone else might be able to give or someone might be able to give us a possible su suspect suspect. I can't talk right now. I'm hoping that it will turn that way. Turn out that way. We can't let a murderer roam around our town. Has anyone identified the victim? The victim appeared to be a teenage girl wearing a nightgown. Her face was bashed in with a baseball bat and she was dumped into this lake. Damn! That sounds horrible. She also had scars and bruises all over her body that indicated physical abuse prior to her death. That would suggest that she had an abusive parent that might be responsible for her death. Exactly. That's why it's important for you to tell me any information you, will, you might have that will lead to a possible suspect. Ah... Ah, uh, uh, I have no idea. I have no idea who the killer could be. I'm not sure who would be capable of this. That's not the answer I was hoping for. The killer could be in a different state by now. Well, that means there's no time to waste. Let's start asking around and find some answers. All right, let's go. Oh, you're so nice. Congrats on the 200 subscribers, Jeremy. I created this section for you to test out. I would like to hear your thoughts on it being included in the full game. Thanks for playing. Okay, that, that seemed pretty awesome, by the way. That seemed amazing. Didn't I tell you to stay home tonight? It isn't safe to be wandering around this town this town right now. That isn't fair. I shouldn't be forced to stay in because some psycho decided to murder someone. This seems awesome. You're not an adult yet, you know. It's my responsibility to keep you safe. I'm not a little girl anymore. I can handle myself that just fine. There's no need for you to worry. Fine, have it your way. Just be careful out there. Let me know if you see anyone acting strange. Thanks, Dad. I'll be fine. See you later. Oh, no. Is it my daughter that gets murdered? I don't know. The, the whole... Oh, you know that I like murder. What the hell happened to the clock and lights? I think I have a flashlight in my bedroom. Oh, hi. <laughs> Ooh, hi. What is going on? I don't... I don't know. Did I know? Oh shit, did I know? There's blood smeared on my bed. It seems to still be pretty fresh and hasn't dried all the way yet. Am I the murderer? I bet I'm the murderer, aren't I? My flashlight isn't here, the box is just filled with old photographs. Where's the flashlight? Just a collection of old books. I don't know where to look. I don't know where to look. This isn't my bedroom then, is it? This isn't my bedroom. It's probably not my bedroom. Let's go look again. You know. I don't know. What do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Wrong room. It seems like it's just getting higher. Uh, are you okay? She's not okay. I can't move. I moved. But then I dead. <laughs> I, d I dead. I dead. No. No, no, no. No, Brian can't die. Hold on. Hold on. No, the lazy bitch wants to complain. 
No, we can't do it. We can't do that to Brian. Okay. Da -ba -da -ba. Hold on. Hold on. Game end. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. We can't let Brian die in vain. That was awful. I'm I'm uh, I'm sorry. I think I know the murderer. The guy you're looking for is Mitch. M How do I know that? <laughs> it's Mitch Miller. I've seen him abuse his daughter before, and she should be about 16 years old now. What? Why didn't you report the abuse before now? How could you turn a blind eye to that when you have a daughter of your own? Mitch had information that could have ruined my life. He would have told everyone if he was arrested. The worst part is knowing how much that girl continued to suffer due to my silence. I'm not sure how I should react to all this, but it seems like we know who to look for now. You're not going to ask one the information he has on me? Right now I'm concerned with apprehending, apprehending a possible murder suspect. But I'll have to arrest you if he reveals information linking you to a crime. Fair enough. Let's go find him. Okay, well apparently I knew the murder. I didn't know that I knew. Oh, that was it? Okay, well let's try this. How could it be to think of something? This was in the other demo. Are you still here trying to come up with an idea for that stupid book you were going to write? I actually just thought of something. I'm sure it'll sell because I don't want to hear it. I'm tired of you going on about your dream of becoming a writer. That doesn't help our financial problems. Get a real job. Respond calmly, Jeremy. That's responding sadly. You're just like everybody else. Not even my parents have my career as a freelance writer. It's so true. Just go ahead and abandon me like everyone always does. I didn't mean to sound like that. I just want you to be successful. This new novel you're working on isn't helping your insomnia either. You're just as controlling as the parents you tried so hard to get away from. I think we need a break from each other. If that's really what you want, then I'll just stay with my parents for a while. I'll come by tomorrow and check on you. I just need time to think. We can sit down and work this out tomorrow. I guess I'll talk to you later. Yep. See you, Barbara. Okay, I know all this. I believe I know all this. It's my old friend Christian being a douche. Hey, it's your old buddy Christian. I'm calling to say hello. I know I'm a psychic. Don't watch the first Lego Phobia video. It d don't. It'll spoil that I'm not a psychic. It's good to hear from you. How's everything with you? Everything's been going great for me lately. I'm finally able to take it easy for once. So what's what have you been up with? That that the but we're just gonna lie. Nothing's new with us. Barbara and I are doing great. That's good to hear. I thought Barbara would have been on, <laughs> would have gotten your nerves by now. But you thought wrong because everything's fine between us. I didn't think that your relationship would last, but I guess that was a wrong assumption to make. Christian's such a douche. Do you think that you'll be able to hang out tomorrow? I'll have to see how tomorrow goes, but I'll call you if I'm available. Talk to you later. Okay, that's a new dialogue, by the way. I remember Christian was like, Hey, it doesn't sound like it's going that way, but, you know, don't let me judge you or something like that. It was weird. But that's new, so there's a lot of new stuff, I assume, then. Barbara's clothes are still here. I guess she never wanted to stay away for very long. <laughs> okay. We're gonna we're gonna complete the demo, by the way. Oh, Barbara's slippers are still here. Oh yeah. What is that? Is that a towel? <laughs> the towel followed me out. No really, is that is that a towel? Oh no, why is that there? Well uh let me see. Oh, that's the mirror. It's still there, dang it. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to go on with a mirror on my screen. Oh, it's gone. Okay, good. It's gone. Uh, let's go to the bar. And have a good time. Doon, doon, doon. Hey, I'm Jeremy Miles. What's your name? Do you need something? I was just trying to start a conversation. Well, I don't wish to interact with you. Go away and talk to someone else. I know who to talk to. Hey, I'm Jeremy Miles. I'm Jane Stewart, and it's nice to meet you. Wait a minute. Isn't that the... the uh, isn't that who I just... Uh, well, well, that's, the, that's the girl who has the, the... Brian as the father. That's pretty cool. I'm glad I walked over here. You're definitely the most beautiful girl in this whole bar. I'm sure that I would be the second most beautiful girl here. This ain't about you, bitch. Get out of here. This isn't about you, bitch. Get out of here. Alright, I'll leave you two alone. Now that she's out of the way... Can I ask what brings you to a bar like this? We're gonna lie. I was just looking around for someone interesting to meet, and I think I've found what I'm looking for. Sounds like you're waiting to ask me out on a date. Maybe I am. I want to get to know you better. Here's my number. I hope you pick out. A I hope you'll pick out a great place to eat and have somewhere for me to sleep. Who knows how far this date will go? Damn! 
I like the sound of that. Here's my number, just in case you want to call me instead. I'll talk to you later. Later? Let's go talk to Markiplier. You look like you've had a rough day. I just had a really strange dream last night. Listen. Alright, I'm interested in hearing what it was about. The dreams started off with me waking up in a dark room and I had complete certain trials to move forward. The weird part is that I could wake or I could walk up walls and my grammar was suddenly terrible. That does sound weird. That wasn't even the strangest part. There was this book in the library that was a thousand pages long. I don't know why, but I was forced to read it. <laughs> that was probably the scariest part of the whole dream. Oh, that was probably the strangest thing I've ever heard. I should be going now. Alright, I'll just continue to drink my troubles away. Sorry, Mark. Well, we met who we wanted to meet. Let's see if we could already go on the date. Okay. Okay, we don't want to call Christian. He's a douche. Alright, I think I could write my paper. Day one. Night. Alright. I must have worked longer than I thought. Maybe I should try and get some sleep. Do I want to get sleep? Uh, let's try to sleep. I guess it hurt, couldn't hurt to get some rest. I've had a rough day. Yes, you have. And we don't want the scary shit going on. Where am I? Barbara? Are you okay with the idea of cheating on me, Jeremy? Would you be able to live with yourself? I wasn't going, you're a bad liar, Jeremy. I know what your true motives are. You would rather have a slut for a girlfriend than one that cares about you. Damn. I never wanted it to be like this. Alright, who was that? Oh, thank you, I forgot that there was the automatic save thing, because I'm an idiot and forget to save it most times. I think I've had a lot of people change their games just because they've watched my videos and saw how stupid I was and didn't save, so they set up certain, like, saves. Oh, what's going on? Okay. Okay, came out of nowhere. They wanted to see me. Ah, uh, where do we go again? There was some guy up here, right? Who's gonna tell me what way to go? Ooh, what is this? The door is unlocked when two flames are lit. Well, then let's light two flames. How do we light two flames? Is there like a lighter around here or something? What is this? No, what is that? Is that a spider? No, oh, I don't want a spider. Oh, what is that? What is all this? Four wooden sticks. Okay. I assume that I light it with that then, because they're sticks. And sticks usually can get set on fire. This game is awesome looking, and I cannot wait for it. But I'm playing the demo right now, so... Um, it's not like I have to wait right now. What is that? Don't go over there! Okay, down here. Oh, hey, I found him. Okay, four wooden sticks. Let's go. Uh, back on the main road. Uh, was it this way? I don't think it was this way. It was this way, right? There we are. These sticks should work just fine. These sticks should work just fine. Hi there, zombie thing! That is weird. Okay, well, we're gonna go inside. See ya. This room contains several doors that lead to various memories which are unlocked by doing certain tasks within the game. Memory 9 is unlocked by default, but the rest will require you to do certain things during the game. Unlocking all the memories will result in a better ending and uncover the truth. Truth about what? Okay, room 1. A new student. Room 2, a new bond. Room 3, family issues. Sorry, memory 4, never alone. Memory 5, leaving home. Memory 6, Broken Promises. Memory 7, Nightmares. Memory 8, Meeting Barbara. Memory 9, A New Start. So we're going to a new start. Oh. What is this? Oh, Barbara likes my apartment. It's not exactly the most luxurious place around. Oh, hi, Barbara. Oh, God. Gotta straighten up. Do you like my apartment? It certainly has a lot of empty space. So you hate it. Oh, hey, so you hate it. <laughs> no, I actually kind of like it. Oh, that's a relief. I really thought you wouldn't like it that much. The apartment doesn't really matter that much anyway. I'm just happy to be here with you. Ah, oh, Barbara's so sweet. I'm not going to cheat on her. She's too sweet. It means a lot to me that you would say that. I care about you a lot, Jeremy. I'm so glad that we'll be here. We'll both be able to have a new start together. 
A fresh start to follow our dreams. My latest book was published the other day, and I know it will be successful. I'm sure it will. But maybe you and I could have a special night together without mentioning any of that. I guess that would be fine. What did you have in mind? I think we should go try our new mattress out tonight. Like the sound of that. I'll lead the way. Oh yeah, you will. Keep going. Go. Go, Jeremy. Go. What are you waiting for? This is really this really is a new start. Ooh, go get him, Jeremy. God, get oh, go. You beast. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Hi. Barbara and I used to be so close, but now we've just grown apart. That's a total of nine doors. What does all what does this all mean exactly? You abandoned me. Day two, morning. That was an odd nightmare I had last night. It seems so different from any other dream I've had before. I wonder who that strange woman was. There's no need for me to worry about that uh, that much. It was just a weird dream. Barbara should be coming over soon. I need to pull myself together before she arrives. I feel really guilty about lying to Jane. Maybe I should just call everything off with her. Barbara wouldn't be able to handle the idea of me cheating on her. Yeah, I'll just... I will. I'll call everything off with her. Uh, hello? I thought I would call and ask if you wanted to go out on a date tonight. I can't do this. I can't go through with this. I haven't been completely honest with you. If it's about a certain part of your body, then I should... I should let you know that I don't care about the size of it. Well, I'm glad, Jane. Uh, Barbara's ghost in my dream was right. She's a sleut. No, that wasn't what I was talking about. I didn't tell you that I was still in a relationship with someone else, and we never officially broke up. I can't believe you didn't tell me that. I was a foolish to believe that you were actually a nice guy. I'm really sorry about all this. I'm done speaking with you. Just forget we ever met. I can do that. Sorry that I didn't knock first. I still have my key, and I want to make sure you were okay. I don't mind that you didn't knock, but you surprised me a little. It looked like you just got off the phone. I hope you're not talking to Christian again. I know he's your friend, but he isn't the best influence on you. I know he isn't. He's a dick. It wasn't anyone important. You don't look so good. Did you get enough sleep last night? Uh... It's hard to explain. You might want to take a seat first. So I'm explaining the whole dream to her. I had a really strange dream last night. It felt different from any other dream I've had before. Was it another nightmare? It was similar to nightmares I've had before. I had before, but I think this one was trying to tell me something. What do you think it was trying to tell you? It seemed like I was being reminded of a past mistake I made. You usually don't think that much into the dreams that you have. It must have left some kind of impression on you. I think about my dreams sometimes. It's just I usually don't feel the need to talk to anyone about them. What makes the dreams stick out in your mind so much? There was a woman that appeared at the beginning of the dream and at the end. Who was it? I don't know, but I feel like I'm supposed to know her from somewhere. There was also a message left by her in the dream. It said, you abandoned me. That's really odd. You shouldn't be able to read anything in your dreams. Wait, what? <laughs> Why? Well, I know what I read, and I remember it like it happened just a minute ago. I'm not certain of what it all means, but the least I can do is take it seriously and support you. Ah, thanks, Barbara. You're such a nice girl. I'm glad that you didn't treat me like I went insane or something. That's what I'm here for. I can't support you in every aspect of your life, but I won't abandon you. What was that? Uh, I don't know, but maybe we should continue this conversation another time. Alright, call me if anything comes up. I'll see you later. Yeah, I can't abandon Barbara. She's too sweet. But, uh, why was that hole punched in the wall here? Here? Right over here? Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna go up here. There's no reason to go into the basement. Is there any reason to go into any of these places? I don't think... What was that? Wait, what's that letter? I should check out what that letter is. Time takes it all whether you want it to or not. Time takes it all. Time bears away. Time bears it away. And in the end, there's only darkness. Sometimes we find others in that darkness, and sometimes we lose them there again. Stephen King. I don't remember writing any of this. I don't remember writing any of that either. Dear God. Let's go out to the bar again. Maybe Jane's there. I could apologize. No! Ooh. We're going to replay the intro. No. We're going to replay the intro. Because I, I want to know more. 
about what I can do in that man's house. You saw it. Okay, yeah. It's a gruesome murder. I really want to know what this part's about, too. It's insane. Hey, yay. Test out, yay. Okay. The next night. It is... Oh, Jane. You little slut. No, you're not a little girl anymore, but you're going out to a bar to have sexual relations with Jeremy. Probably should watch TV until... Wait, that's... New. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I shouldn't watch TV. I was like... That oh, okay. Yep, definitely not going to watch TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, not going to... TV's a bad idea. TV's a bad idea. TV's a bad idea. <laughs> Nope, 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 nope. Uh, are you okay? Oh, what the f- Brian's dead. Let's try that again. Okay, so I tried, um, the intro again. I guess Brian just dies if you lie about not knowing who the murderer is. So, I, I like the new additions. It adds more mystery to the game. And I am oh so confused now. <laughs> But, I like the new dialogue too, and that day too. Don't know if there was anything else I could have done on it, but if there was, I'll figure it out in the full game. And I really can't wait for the full game. So, I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and uh, thank you for 219 right now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That was a lot of ands. I should use commas more. But alright. Hope you enjoyed. I know it wasn't like me being that entertaining because I'm just so into the game right now and I really can't wait for it. So thank you. I repeat thank you a lot, don't I? But seriously, thank you. Hope you enjoyed. Good. Bye. I'm not sure I want to finish. No, I don't. No, I don't. What the fuck? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, slippery, slippery. Is that blood? Is this blood? <laughs> Do I be hallucinating all this? The mirror doesn't seem to be broken all the time, but it's become so cloudy that it's not going to be broken. Whatever.